Hello and welcome to another reading from the book That I May Know Him, a daily devotional. Today's reading is entitled Feelings No Evidence of Rejection, October 6th. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. Psalm 145 verses 18 and 19 I would call your attention to the precious promises in the Word of God. All who are children of God have not the same powers, the same temperaments, the same confidence and boldness. I am glad indeed that our feelings are no evidence that we are not children of God. The enemy will tempt you to think that you have done things that have separated you from God and that he no longer loves you, but our Lord loves us still and we may know by the words he has placed on record for just such cases as yours. If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. 1 John 2, 1 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 1 John 1, 9 God loves you, and the precious Savior, who gave himself for you, will not thrust you from him because you are tempted and in your weakness may have been overcome. He loves you still. Peter denied his Lord in the hour of trial, but Jesus did not forsake his poor disciple. Although Peter hated himself, the Lord loved him, and after his resurrection, he called him by name and sent him a loving message. Oh, what a kind, loving, compassionate Savior we have, and he loves us though we err. Now do not worry yourself out of the arms of the dear Savior, but rest trustingly in faith. He loves you. He cares for you. He is blessing you and will give you his peace and grace. He is saying to you, Thy sins be forgiven thee. You may be depressed with bodily infirmities, but that is not evidence that the Lord is not working in your behalf every day. He will pardon you, and that abundantly, gather to your soul the sweet promises of God. Jesus is our constant, unfailing friend, and he wants you to trust in him. Look away from yourself to the perfection of Christ. Thank you for listening today. Be sure to come back tomorrow to listen to another reading from the book that I may know him. Be encouraged.